Good morning. Well, the last 72 hours have been absolute madness. I don't know what's happened. I got an email from my friend Big Oggy, and he said, well, it's your turn to win the YouTube lottery. And, and I guess that's what it is on YouTube. It is, it is a bit of a lottery at times. You work for five years and then eventually something happens. But I gotta thank you all for clicking on the video, for watching it, for leaving comments. Now, as you've seen, I answer comments, so it's been absolute madness for three, four days. Um, I, 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 I don't know what to say other than say thank you, especially those who've decided to subscribe and stick with me. So if you're new, I need to tell you who I am really, don't I? My name's Simon, I'm 59, I'm five foot five, got short arms and dinky little hands. I am not built for golf at all. My handicap index is 5.7, um, but I haven't put in many cards recently. I've kind of, I don't particularly like the WHS. Let's put it this way, I, um, I played in a singles knockout last year and I gave 27 shots, and I was four down after four. I started bogey, par, par, par. The guy I was playing against with his 27 shots started net eagle, net birdie, net birdie, net birdie. He had seven shots, I, I didn't have a chance, and that's, I really don't like the WHS. It doesn't seem to work as well as it should. Right, the video itself. When I started playing golf, I played with my dad. And I played with my dad's mates. And I played, uh, I joined their golf society, and I played with all the guys who were basically my age right now, and older. So I've always played with older guys. So the opinions expressed in that video was a collection of opinions given to me in conversations over the last 36 years really, plus of course my experience in Thailand where you can go forward, put cards in and get a brand new handicap and play a shorter course and still enjoy your golf because you've got opportunities for pars and if you've got an opportunity for a par you can always hold a putt for a birdie. Now that seems to be happening over Europe and America but here in England and Wales Forward tees are not assessed for men. When the WHS came in, they simply didn't do it because you've got to pay for your assessment. It's not free, the golf club has to pay. So they've paid for the white tees to be assessed for men, they've paid for the, ye the middle yellow tees to be assessed for men, and they paid for the red tees to be assessed for women. To have the yellows and the whites assessed for women and the reds to be assessed for men costs more money. So they just didn't do it. And so many clubs opted to keep the sexes apart. If I go and play or, or attempt to play the reds, when I look on the handicap chart by the first tee, I will find they're not assessed for men. I have no handicap from the reds. And to show it's not just golf clubs who have not implemented the WHS correctly. I was in a meeting prior to the WHS coming in in England and the lady captain very forcibly said I do not want men on my tees and of course it didn't happen the ladies tees reds were not assessed for men they have bestayed ladies so you know, don't shoot the messenger. I'm just passing on the information I know to you. Right, a few comments on my golf swing. Back in 1990, I had a very serious road traffic accident. I was on a motorcycle and I was hit head on by a car on the wrong side of the road. I did this. Now I didn't break anything but with the weight of a helmet, I destroyed all the soft tissue in my neck and upper back. So when I make a golf swing, if I try and make a proper turn, 
the head goes with it. I can't keep my head centered over the golf ball. So when I take the club back, it's all very much a compromise of trying to keep my head over the ball so I can see the thing. So it's not right. It's not right at all. In fact, it's probably the ugliest swing on YouTube. The other issue is that I wear glasses. I'm exceptionally long-sighted, but my left eye is exceptionally weak. So when I go back, if I try and make a proper turn and go back, my head's going with it, that I'm attempting to keep my left eye on the golf ball, and of course it's my weak eye, and I lose sight of it. So my entire golf swing is around trying to keep this pointing at the golf ball. So the turn is always compromised. But I normally have three things going for me in my favor. First is swing path. Second is face to swing path. So I can always kind of like get the golf club back to the ball, reasonably square, and hit a shot that doesn't have too much curve on it. And I found over the years, um, I think it was 1996 actually, I switched to using the right side of the tee, aiming down at the left hand 150 yard marker in the rough, and basically hitting that block cut into the fairway. When it works, I can hit upwards of 10 fairways, sometimes all 14 fairways. I'm not so good with the irons, never been a good iron player, especially once you get up above the six iron, you know, the four iron, sorry, five, four and three irons. Not particularly good with those. So generally I'll hit nine greens. And that's when the wedge and the putter comes into play, doesn't it? You're chipping and you're putting. And I can normally get 50 or 55%. So I'll get five out of nine or five out of 10 or maybe six out of 11 up and down. I can, I can chip it close enough for a three or four footer. And that's the kind of putting that I practice. I, I, I practice these. I do hundreds of these from different sides, different break. I want to be able to hold everything inside this. But talking about the putting, a gentleman pointed out that my putter was too long for me. And he's absolutely spot on. My putter is far too long for me. Age seven, I was given a putter, a full length putter at age seven when I was this tall or whatever. So I've always putted holding a long putter, elbows out, and I've always given her a wrap with my wrists. So a 35 inch putter actually suits how I putt. It's wrong, but it suits me. I've had a couple of pros over the years say, I'd like to take that putter off you, Simon, and cut two inches off it, off it and have you putt correctly, straight arms and use your shoulders. And believe me, I've tried that. I did try a shorter putter, but it just didn't suit me. It actually ruined my lag putting and my lag putting is one of my really big strong points. So for whatever reason, this works, even though it's not supposed to. So that's me. Um, what sort of videos do I make? I try and make suggestions to you, if I can, of a different way of perhaps approaching a golf course or approaching a hole, depending on your handicap, whether you're trying to break a particular number or just become more consistent or just think better. I don't mind bad shots. I'm an amateur. I'm going to hit bad shots. I'm going to make bogeys. I don't have Brad Faxon and Butch Harmon on speed dial. I don't have time to hit 5,000 practice shots. I'm going to make mistakes. I don't mind bad shots. What I hate is bad decisions. When you choose to do something that you're not capable of doing and you make a mess of it and you've got a double bogey. So I like to put forward suggestions. I do chipping videos occasionally. Um, I always say two things about chipping. You need one club to go up and over 
You've got to be able to get onto a raised green. You've got to go over a bunker. And in one club for running out. I'll never tell you what those clubs should be though. That's up to you to find two clubs. Now I say two clubs because we are restricted for time. So if you can practice one shot with your up and over and one shot with your run out, you've got time to do that. If you're using a lob wedge, a sand wedge, a gap wedge, a pitching wedge, a nine, an eight, a seven and a six, where have you got time to practice all of those clubs? You just don't. So, we, so I try to be practical as well. You know, pick your two clubs, whatever they might be. Up and over, run out. But I do occasionally get someone to say, oh, you're not a professional, you shouldn't be teaching. I want a professional. Well, I'm a five slash six handicap, depending on which course I play. I got 36 years experience playing golf. I've been putting since I was seven years old and going to chip and putt courses as a, as a little kid. I think I've got something to offer, some little bit of tweak of information. So I try to offer a little bit of information. You can go away and try it, or you can just say, that's not for me. Just the same way as me putting correctly is not for me. I would never tell you to buy a putter that's too long for you and putt like this. I'd never tell you to do that. But equally, I wouldn't tell you to change anything that you're doing. What we really need in golf is to think better. And then find a pro who is um, sympathetic to our age. Because most people who watch me are my age. So we're, we've all got aches and pains and stiffness and we get out of bed in the morning and we can hardly move and we've got to go and try and play golf with a body that doesn't work. So I always find, find, you know, suggest if you're going to go for a lesson or a course of lessons to try and straighten out that swing path to become slightly more efficient, hit a few more fairways, find the odd green more than you normally do, find someone your age. Find a pro who hurts as much as you do. Whatever you do, don't go and see a young pro because they'll try and make you swing like Scotty and we simply cannot swing like Scotty at our age. So that's a bit about me and the types of videos I, that I try and make. Um, quite often I run out of ideas and I'm not sure what to do next. At the moment I'm having a little, uh, little sabbatical. I've, I've cut down the amount of videos I'm making simply because my game stinks and I want to get my game right. But I've got two videos in the can coming up. Um, there will be some opinions expressed in that. And um, it's up to you. You can, you can say, yeah, I'm going to give that a go or say that doesn't apply to me. Thank you very much. But th for everyone who watched that video and it's gone nuts, thank you for all those who subscribed. Thank you. And um, I'll see you out on the course. Ta-ra.